In transmission electron microscopy, or TEM, we use a beam of accelerated electrons to study the internal structure of micro-objects. The instrument consists of several main parts, an electron gun, electromagnetic lenses for shaping the electron beam, and specialized detectors for recording the scientific data resulting from the interaction between the accelerated electrons and the thin specimen that they pass through. Therefore, specialized techniques have to be applied to obtain samples with a thickness of a mere few tens of nanometers. High-resolution transmission electron microscopy, or HRTM, is a TM working mode meant to visualize the atomic structure of crystalline materials. The thin sample is inserted in the way of the electrons accelerated by a high voltage, typically between 100 and 300 kilovolt. Electrons emerging from the sample carry information regarding elastic and inelastic atomic interactions experienced while passing through the sample and can be used to generate enlarged images of the internal structure of the samples, electron diffraction patterns, or spectra revealing the local chemical composition of the sample. HRTM addresses solid-state crystalline materials in various morphologies, powders, thin or thick layers on various substrates, or bulk materials like ceramics or metallic alloys. Beside the typical imaging and electron diffraction capabilities of a TEM, the nowadays instruments are complemented with highly sensitive analytical systems, like the EDS and EEL spectrometers. Apart from HRTM imaging, the instrument installed in our laboratory offers several other imaging, analytical and combined working modes. The scanning transmission electron microscopy, or STEM mode, is available at a spatial resolution below 0.1 nanometers due to a spherical aberration corrector inserted in the microscope column. Combined with the EDS spectrometer and the post column EEL spectrometer, we are able to obtain local chemical and structural information with a space resolution down to atomic scale. Considering the atomic resolution imaging capabilities and the analytical techniques available on our complex instrument, we are able to perform advanced microstructural characterization in a wide range of research domains, from nanotechnology, including nanomaterials and thin films, for microelectronics, to metallurgy, ceramics and other complex materials for the nowadays applications. Although HRTM refers to visualizing the atomic structure of materials, it is not possible to use this technique for imaging single atoms. However, this can be done in certain conditions using the aberration corrected STM mode. The imaging principle in HRTM is based on the interference between the diffracted electron beams emerging from a crystalline specimen. Therefore, it is not possible to see the atomic structure of a single molecule. Moreover, it is not possible by any electron microscopy technique to observe the atomic structure of amorphous materials, like glasses or polymers. Electron paramagnetic resonance, or EPR, is a magnetic resonance spectroscopic technique used to study species with unpaired electrons, such as transition metal ions, free radicals, point defects in solids, or defects induced by radiation with light or particles. EPR detects the transitions induced by microwave radiation between the energy levels of electron spins in the presence of a static magnetic field which removes the degeneracy of the spin states. The transition energies are affected by the local environment of the unpaired electrons, therefore the EPR spectra can provide structural and chemical information about the paramagnetic species. 
Our laboratory is equipped with DPR spectrometers working in the microwave frequency bands X at 9.5 GHz and Q at 34 GHz. DPR spectrometer consists of a source of microwave radiation, a resonant cavity into which the sample is inserted between the poles of the electromagnet that generates the magnetic field, and a detector to measure the microwave signal reflected from the cavity. The microwave frequency is constant while the magnetic field is scanned. The microwave absorption signal is recorded as an EPR spectrum. Depending on the samples and the information required, the experiments can be performed at one or both microwave frequencies at variable load temperature with in-situ illumination. EPR is a versatile, non-destructive, highly sensitive analytical method. It can detect concentrations of paramagnetic species as low as 10 to minus 4%. The samples can be in powder form, single crystals or films, cut to sizes compatible with the quartz EPR tubes. However, the film substrate should have higher electrical resistivity and a very low content of paramagnetic impurities. The EPR characterization of the paramagnetic species involves the determination of their identity, oxidation state, concentration, stability, formation and evolution. Some species are also used as paramagnetic probes to obtain information about the host material, such as local structure and symmetry, lattice dynamics, the presence of local strains, the degree of lattice disorder, the mechanism of structural and chemical transformations. EPR has a variety of applications in material science, physics, chemistry, biology, medicine, pharmacology, and environmental science or quality control. Our research topics over the years extend from the size-dependent physical phenomena in nanometric particles, structural phase transitions in ferroelectrics, defects in nanostructure, semiconductor and insulating materials, materials for radiation detection and conversion, gas sensors, biomedical materials, to the characterization of microfossil samples or the analysis of pigments and materials with cultural heritage significance.